What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. We're going to make this one short and sweet and simple as possible. So the gap down here, this is a one-up bike trailer, by the way. Uh, they haul e-bike spikes. You get the idea. But the gap down here is three and an eighth inches. I noticed that the gap up here is three and a quarter inches, right? So it tapers down as it gets down to here. What happens is, is that's causing chafing of my sidewalls. Right, so I'm running 27 and a half by three inch V speedsters on my rims, which are 27 and a half by threes. But basically the sidewalls of the tires are getting smushed, right? And that taper, they're getting smushed every time I use this. This is after, believe it or not, I believe eight times of using this, right? One wants to put it on, wants to take it off, then wants to put it on again, wants to take it off. I think I might've done it one or two more times. But that's not something that I want to have on a regular basis, especially if it's going to destroy the sidewalls of my tires. So solution, I took this assembly out. I took this bolt out and I noticed on this side when you actually do it, I'm, I can't do this with one hand. But anyways, this opening is three and three quarter inches basically when you measure it out without the hardware. So if you put the hardware back in. Look at how much more room I have. Look at that gap I have in there, which is probably just about what I need to, you know, accommodate for a more, you know, snug fit, like a little less snug, like snug, but not tight to the point that it's like destroying the sidewalls. So what's the solution, right? The solution is just get a longer bolt and get some washers to fill in the gap. So I think if I measured correctly, What's going to happen is, is this is going to sit in the middle, like this piece right here is going to sit in the center and I'm going to have two washers on this side, right? Like two washers to fill this gap. And then I'm going to have two washers on this side to fill this gap. So this bolt, if you're curious, this is an NY grade bolt. I don't know exactly what the grade is right there. If you know, comment down below in the comment section, but see, there you go. NY is the... I guess the style of the bolt or whatever, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one that's a quarter of an inch longer so that basically I'm adding a quarter of an inch to this area down here so that hopefully when this, when I, when I raise and lower this around my tire to get it in there, I'm going to have the room that I need to make it snug, but also not as snug to the point that it's like destroying the sidewalls of the tires. So to give you some measurements real quick on this, Basically, the bolt itself is a, I believe it's a four inch bolt, right? And what I'm measuring from is I'm measuring from the, the end of the bolt, the very, very end, the very tip, just the tip. I'm measuring from the tip of the bolt to this point right here, right where it connects to this part. I believe that's how it's measured. Anyways, I'm going to bring all this to like my local hardware store with me, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever's closer. Uh, but you get the idea, but it's basically a four inch bolt. So I'm just going to get one that's a quarter of an inch longer. Same style, same material. I might upgrade and go stainless if they do have a stainless like this. And then in terms of the washers, you know, don't skimp on your washers. I'm going to try to go stainless steel or even marine grade washers. So I need two here, two here. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on this side. Two that are going to squeeze in there and two that are going to squeeze in there. So four total washers two new bolts. I can reuse the existing nut, the nylon nut. And then something that I do, I always do this in all my bolts is I wrap Teflon tape around the bolt where it connects. Like even though it's got a nylon washer, I still put Teflon on there regardless. It's just redundancy. It's one extra layer <laughs> of security. And yes, it's always a good idea to maintain and just kind of inspect and kind of just go over your bike rack to make sure that the bolts are tightened, et cetera. And then if one is coming loose, then what I'll do is I'll disassemble it entirely, entirely, put some Teflon tape on it so I know it doesn't come loose as quick in the future. It'll still probably come loose eventually, but it's just regular maintenance, kind of keeps everything going. Anyways, if you do like what you're seeing and you like this idea, I, I encourage everybody to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, wherever that is. Also hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions. In the description section down there, I did put some links to some e-bike and bicycle riding related stuff. So you might want to check that out. Also some bike packing stuff. If you're interested in that as well, you get the idea. Anyways, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I will catch you all on the next exciting video.